Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special live four year anniversary edition of Matt Chat. That's right, it's showtime. And here today, we're going to talk about the history and the career of the man himself, Mr. Ace Diamond. So, but, Ace, what? But before we get to him, I made a little video package for everybody. Just highlighting your career achievements, your best moments. What is it, like 10 minutes long? Uh, it's about four. Four? Okay, and let's roll it. Let's roll. Your faith has just been dipped. Let's go. Three and a half years, and you can only come out for four minutes. Well, on film. Fair enough. So I gotta ask you: out of all the managers in the territory area in which we all work in, what is some of the ones that you think are some of the better managers aside of yourself? Well, like you just said, besides myself, because. I am the best, hands down. You're better than HBO. That Barney Rubble looking midget could. HBO, be hold on, HBO. Who cares about HBO? I got Showtime. Oh, you I'm Showtime. I got Showtime. You know. 
HBO, what? That's showtime. That's right, tell them what time it is. Everybody knows what time it is. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. HBO, eh. If you're in the late 90s hair and I find that Sunni shit's... bald. Yeah, but that's a totally different story. You saying something about bald? Ooh. You got a problem with somebody being bald? Yeah, that's why I'm here. All right, carry on. But eh, HBO, he's all right. Now, let's talk about the very beginning. What distinct moment in your life made you think this is what you want to do for a living? You know, I can tell you exactly what it was. And any wrestling fan is going to know this date by heart. January 23rd, 1984. The day Hulk Hogan beat the Iron Sheik for the WWF Heavyweight title. I was oh, watching yeah. it with my dad. And I knew from that moment on, this is what I wanted to do with my life. How do you feel about Hulk Hogan nowadays? As big of a Hulkamaniac fan, as big of a Hulkamaniac as I was when I was a kid, he just needs to go away. So you're saying you think Hulkamania is bad for business? It's good for business to an extent. But, but you got to understand, Hulkamania is still running wild, but he's not wrestling anymore. He's there to draw the fans and the crowd and things like that. What's wrong with that? Because that's pretty much what you're doing. You're not wrestling, right? So don't, shouldn't he deserve and secure his spot oh, to be able to do so? Don't get me wrong. The man basically created professional wrestling as it is today. He is basically the man behind that, with Vince McMahon's help, of course. But, honestly, I don't think WWE would be what it is today if it hadn't been for Hulk Hogan. That's quite interesting. You know, another great point, I think, uh, J.D., how do you feel about this? Another thing, since you manage J.D., uh, Diamond Enterprises is what you call it, i got to ask you, who is the favorite person in which that you've managed throughout your career? It'd be this guy sitting right to my right. I know you're saying that because he's sitting here, but seriously. Yeah, who like you have... the favorite guy you've ever managed? Let's look at all the people you've managed. You've managed S.O.M., Nicholas Davidson, Black Boy. You've managed Nate Flames. You've managed... Anybody remember Frankie Gambino? He's Gambino? got flames on his shirt still. Anybody? Anybody remember Frankie Gambino? He was around. Frankie Gambino. Yeah, and he must be a loser. mobster. Yeah, yeah, nobody remembers that loser. Okay, okay. Nobody remembers that loser. I know people in the mob. Don't mess with me. Okay. But to to be perfectly honest, he's my favorite, and the most successful is a man that you've actually wrestled recently. Okay. Dan Roberson. All right. Dan Roberson's a cheater, just like everybody else you've managed. He is, that, is that what you look for? He low blowed me last night. How can you say that? It's not. You're Dan Roberson? Yeah. I, I last said, time he wrestled me, he pulled my tights. He sandwiched me between the cage and the door. Last night at Tough Pro Wrestling, This is I your myself, manager saying that. I know. I you myself went one-on-one -on -one against the golden boy, Dan Roberson, inside of the steel cage here at Tough Pro Wrestling, and... I put out every freaking thing. I did the diving headbutt tribute to the Wolverine. I pulled out my four Nelson slam. All I had to do was escape the cage. And and what does he do? First out, he knocks my manager out with that steel door. Then he low blows me and just crawls literally over top of my. Pain body. I have a concussion because of you, Roberson. Don't think I'll forget that. How many fingers do I got up? That's not funny. <laughs> if, you, if you have a concussion, I can kind of see what you will forget about what he did. Yeah. All right, so. And let's talk about your match that happened last night at Tough Pro Wrestling. Oh, 
The, the match. The steel cage, tables, ladders, and chairs match. Oh, well, let me tell Against you. Against the real Showtime James Shepard. Show it to your face. Everybody knows what time it is, and everybody knows who the real Showtime is. Each one of yous know it. You know it. You know it. So say what you will. Either way, at the end of the night, I must say, we took it to the limit. Yes, we you had did. a great match. Um, and at the end of the day, I believe James Shepard understood finally what time it was. He After could he take my ankle out. out, not once, but twice, continuously cheating, that's all right. I get by that. Calls me out in an arm wrestling match, you all seen how that turned out, right? He lost every match, but then he cheap shot me, take out my ankle again, knowing I have a match in three days? It's because he was scared. But I can't say this, he stepped into the ring, and the end result, you know what happened. He got powerbombed through a table for the one, two, three, and it's showtime. He didn't take care after your ankle because he's and, scared. And after he took after your ankle because he's smart. What are you, his manager now? And if I were calling... You're trying to recruit him to Diamond Enterprises? Hey, if he wants to join, all he's got to do is make a call. If, if, showtime, if I would call after the bell, he was the one who left the ring first. He gave me a low blow, just like you got a low blow, blow from Roberson. Right? Why is there so much pain in the man's ball sack? I don't know, but how did it feel for you? Was it okay for you? No! No, then quit your crying about what it was done to me. Just saying. You should understand. Just saying. That was only one show. Just saying, last shut your face. If you wasn't there last night, I tell you what, you missed out. But the good news is, you'll be able to pick up the DVD real soon. And when you pick up the DVD, you'll be able to see exactly what I said and him going through the table. That was a couple tables in there. There was, there was a whole lot. It was crazy madness nonsense everywhere. There was tables. But what really chains. ticks me off is the punk's been coming out with my t-shirt. My t-shirt, crossing out my stuff. Yeah, it, putting it says, Showtime James Shepard. Now, I know you love the shirts. Who wouldn't want one? And of course, you can find one today at www.showtimejamesjordan.com. Make sure you get yours before you come to the next event, of course, to see me. But why would he do that? Try to play psychological mind games? <laughs> it didn't work. But enough about that, because I'm not worried about that anymore. What were some of the other great matches that we seen last night that took place here at Tough Pro Wrestling? We crowned the first ever Tough Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, we did. And who was that? Mr. Low Blow himself. Pull the tights, Low Blow. The Golden Girl, right? Ain't that what they call him? The Golden Girl? Looks Should like this man. He looks like B. Arthur going through puberty backwards. Ugly as can be. Pull my tights, but that's okay. He can hold that title for a little bit, but it ain't going to be very long. Yeah, until I hold help. Exactly. This man's coming for it. Well, yeah, that's going to be right after me, but whatever. Moving on. Let's talk about some other things. Let's, let's go back to focusing on the man. I, I agree. Let's do it. What would you say would be your personal career highlight at this point? That's a good question, J.D. I didn't know such a good question could come out of mm. your face. My personal career highlight would be... Leading Dan Roberson and his former tag team partner, Freak. You just told me I was your favorite. I, I told you, J.D., he's lying to you, and this is your manager. Be careful. My career highlight is leading them to a tag team title match, and then they dumped me. I got them to the height of this business. To the pinnacle. I got them to the top, and then they dumped me. That shows some gratitude. Like a sack of potatoes. How does that make you feel? Tell the camera, tell the wrestling world how that makes you feel, Ace Diamond. I'm coming for revenge. I don't even know what a freak is. You don't know what a freak is? I don't know what a freak is. 
I know where he is. Where is he? Don't worry. He'll come. Uh, uh, uh. Thanks to Ken. What's really going on? Tell us. We want to hear about your career. Well, well it all started... Surprisingly enough, in this very building, about three and a half years ago, I've managed this man right here, the originator of Diamond Enterprises, right here, ladies. We were the best thing going in this building. Until I came along. Until he left. What? Until he decided that I was no longer needed. Uh, but well, hey, that's water under the bridge. What brought you back together then? Fast forward three and a half years, we're back. We let the past be the past. And now Diamond Enterprises is stronger than ever. Okay, I really do appreciate you coming and joining myself. The King Four Nelson Justin Dream and my special co host of the Showtime Diamond. James Jordan. You know what time it is. I'm Ace Diamond, the real host of Matt Chat. This guy is just a one time fill in. We will see you and you will hear us next week. Shut your face, Ace Diamond. <laughs>